Hello. This time I want to talk about numbering systems. Okay. What is a numbering system? Well, a numbering system is something we can count with. Yeah. I guess all of you have heard about our usually used decimal system. The decimal system, what, what is it? Yeah. Decimal system consists of 10 different, 10 different signs, let's call them. Yeah. We call them digits. So we have 10 different digits. We have the digit 0, we have the different digit 1, we have the digit 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay. That's our, our pool of symbols. The decimal system consists of 10 symbols. Okay. And every time I want to count one more, I increase I increase the symbol. Okay. So let's say uh, I do have I do have a five digit number. Okay. I'll make it a little bit a little bit smaller. Let's say I have a, let's say I have a number. Yeah? If I have nothing, it looks like this. Yeah? Put it in the middle. If you have nothing, I put like, it, it looks like this. Then I want to count one more. Then I want to count one more. Second, third symbol. I want to count one more and one more and one more. And one more, and one more, and one more, and one more. Now I am at the tenth symbol. We call it nine. Yeah. That's the symbol with the name nine. That's the tenth symbol of the decimal system. And now, what happens now? If I count one, one more, I cannot use another symbol. Yeah. My symbol pool is empty. Yeah. So I'm using the next the next place. Yeah. I say okay one time I have used all symbols and I start again with the first symbol our zero. Yeah. And then one more, 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 one more. Ah, huh? I'm already at the end. So now, here, one more time, I've used all symbols on the previous digit. Okay. This is how a numbering system, this is how a numbering system is working. So we do have here our our digit numbers zero. Here we have the digit number one. We have the digit number two. We have the digit number three. We have the digit number four, and so on. Yeah. We'll add here some four. That are the places. Yeah. Above here we have the value. And if we have this value, yeah, it's 1250. One time I have used all possible combinations of D3 digits. Two times plus two times I have used all possible com combinations of this, of these two things. Plus five times I have used all possible combinations of this. <clears throat> sounds now a little bit yeah a little bit confusing yeah? a little bit confusing but we will see 
what I mean if we get there. So how much worth? How much worth is one digit at this position? One. Every time I count here one up, it's one more. Okay. How much worth is a count at this position? Yeah. It's ten. Every time I count here, I have ten more. Okay. How much worth is a Digit at this position, it's 100. Ooh. And guess what? Here it's 1000. Yeah? And here it's 10,000. Every time times 10. That's how much is a ticket at this position worth. Or to write it in a more mathematical way. Yeah. I could also write here we have 10 by the power of 0. That's 1. Here have 10 by the power of 1. That's 10. Here I have 10 by the power of 2. That's 100. Here I have 10 by the power of 3, that's 1000. Here I have 10 by the power of 4, that's 10,000. And so on, and so on, and so on. Okay. And here you can see how these corresponding numbers of the digits are corresponding to the value of the digit, of one digit. Yeah? Every time 10 raised by the power of whatever position 0, 0, 1, 1, 3, 3 okay. easy huh? and basically what we do here yeah, in our head with no issue at all we say this here is 1 1 multiplied by I'll make it a little bit bigger again that we can see of course okay one time because it's one here one time, 10 by the power of 3. Then, two times, 10 by the power of 2. Then, five times, 10 by the power of 1. And zero times, 10 by the power of 0. Yeah. And if we now calculate this, so we have 1000 here, here we have 200, 2 times 100 is 200, here we have 50, and we have 0. And I, if I add everything, 1000 plus 200 plus 50 is 1250. Okay. This is how a numbering system is working. We have a reservoir, a pool of symbols. Yeah? We take all the symbols and if we are done at one position with all the symbols, we start the next position. Yeah? The next position is then worth the number of symbols I have multiplied by the number of symbols I have. That's it. Okay, so that's the decimal system. We can, there are systems which are there for almost every, every uh, count of symbols. 
Yeah? One very famous system is the binary system. Binary system. The binary system has only a reservoir, a pool of two of two numbers, of two symbols. Yeah? Now I'll just copy this. So for instance, I have this. This is my number. Yeah? This is position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And here, I will delete this now. And here, it's not 10 raised by the power, it's 2. Yeah? Because we do not have, we do not count 10 symbols, we only count 2 symbols. So if we count here 1, this symbol has already reached 2. So this is worth 2. This is worth 4, this is worth 8, and so on. So every time 2 by the power of the position. Okay, so this means this is this is one, two, this is two, this is four, this is eight, this is sixteen, and so on. Okay, and here we do it the same. That's of course then two, 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 two. One time this, zero times this, one time this, one time this. One, zero, one, 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 zero, one, one, and here the values. One time eight is eight. Zero times four is zero. Two times one is two. One time one is one. And if I now add everything together, 8 plus 0 is 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. This number is 11 in decimal. Okay, But you see, it's working exactly, exactly the same. Yeah? It's the decimal system, it's the binary system, here we have 10 digits, here we have two symbols, ten symbols, two symbols. Here we have each each next step is worth the symbol count multiplied by the position, yeah, raised by the power of the position. Yeah. How would this how would this look like here? Yeah. At the beginning I have nothing. Yeah. Then I have one. Plus one is one. Then I'm done. I'm done with this digit. Yeah. So I start the next position. And then here. Yeah. Here I'm done with this digit. I have to go here. Book, book. And plus one. Plus one. Plus one. Plus one. Plus one. Plus one, plus one. Okay. This works exactly, exactly the same. Yeah? But why is a binary system? Why is that so famous? Why is that so important? Because computers usually work with the binary systems. You know? Computers are working in our digital world, digital, just two positions, zero or one, hey, yeah. and everything else is just a combination of zero and ones. Yeah. Why is this? Because a computer is working with, uh, with there is current or there is voltage or there is no voltage. There is not half voltage in a computer. It's always zero or one, and, and it's working with it. 
This is why a binary system is that important in our world. Yeah. Binary system. Usually, you group such binary binary numbers. Yeah. A usual a usual grouping is eight eight bits eight digits in, in binary they are called bits uh, eight bits and this thing is called a byte yeah. why is a byte exactly eight long how many different how many different uh, numbers you could write with an 8-bit binary number. It's not that easy to answer. How many digits or how many combinations we could write with a two-digit uh, decimal system? Yeah. We could write maximum number is 99 yeah. and plus 0, 100. So with a two digit we can exactly have this amount of, of, of different combinations. With the three digit the maximum number is 999 yeah? plus zero is 1000. That's the maximum number for a three digit decibel number and that's the maximum number ah yeah that's the maximum number for a four digit uh, uh, binary a decimal number yeah so remembering what is the maximum number of an eight bit binary number it's of course two raised by the power of eight yeah and that's 256. One, one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one hundred twenty-eight, two hundred fifty-six. Two hundred fifty-six different combinations I could have with eight digits. So why is it just eight? Yeah, or exactly eight? Why? Because. The background was uh, that they wanted to write something, yeah. So they needed one symbol for each for each uh, letter, yeah. And so there are there are capital letters, there are small letters. So we have twenty six capital letters, we have twenty six small letters. Then we want to write zero to nine the numbers, so plus ten. Yeah. Then we have a bunch of, of, of special characters like plus, minus, semicolon, dot, dot comma, uh, percent signs, dollar signs, whatever. So add a number for these. Yeah. Then we would have control, control information or non-printable characters like a return and line feed or a carriage return, a backspace. We would need some number for... Uh, Positioning the cursor, cursor left, cursor right, cursor down. We would need something for for uh, control for tab and so on. And then they came up. Yeah, we need around 256. Yeah, 256 should be enough for uh, representing almost every text message message in our alphabet. Yeah, because in different alphabets we maybe use additionally. In Austria or in German, we have Ö, 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 yeah, special. Then in, in Scandinavia, they have this Ö with this uh, striked O sign of letter, and so on. So they the added and they came up with, I don't know, 180. And they added then some strange things like border, border things and so on. Uh, and said, okay, 256 is, should be enough. So we need eight bytes. Eight bytes should be sufficient to represent all text. 
okay and so we call this eight bits we call one sign one character yeah? one character and this is a byte and this is why a byte is a byte eight bit okay and this is why a byte can hold 256 different values yeah? with one byte you could count from 0 to 255 so 256 different variations okay. that's one byte yeah. half of a byte so only four four bit they are called a nibble yeah. that's has nothing to do with some gate yeah this nibble has no gate it's called a nibble a little bit nibble nibble yeah. nibble yeah. and then there is two bytes so if we have 16 that's a so-called word yeah. what's up word <laughs> word okay and a double word would then be 32 bit that's about the naming so binary system why is a byte a byte there's one uh pretty useful useful uh, uh numbering scheme is left that's the hexadecimal hexadecimal system yeah. and hexadecimal hexa six decimal is 10 16 16 different signs and those signs is one is zero one two three four five six seven eight nine now we ran out of digits as we know it so we use just the, the letters start with a b c d e f 16 16 different uh, symbols 16 different symbols i will copy this table again Clackety clack. Here we have 16 by the power of whatever. Ooh. Something happens. Yeah. 16. Yeah. Position 0, 1, 2, that's the same. Yeah. We have 1. Here we have 16. Yeah. Here, 16 squared. What is this? 16 multiplied by 16. Let's call the calculator. 16, 256. Yeah. What is this? Multiplied by 16, 4,026, multiplied by 16, 65,536. That's the value. If we start counting, we start with 0. Plus 1, plus 1. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Now we are not done. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Now we are done. Okay. And suddenly, plus one. It's working. Yeah. Exactly the same as the decimal system. Now, here, uh, this means now we have 16, the value of 16. Yeah? So, let's say we have here, we have here 1, A, D, 4. Bah! It's clear, yeah? So, we have one time 16 by the power of 3 yeah? we have a a is 10 
10 times 60 by the power of 2 d b is 11 10 11 12 13 13 16 by the power of 1 and with 4 times yeah so we have one time that's 4000 4096 we have 10 times 2256 so this is 2560 2000 hello 2560 we have 13 times 16 yeah poo i will type this in 208 and we have 4 times 1 that's 4 that's easy yeah? and so we do have in total we do have in total 4096 plus 2560 plus 208 plus 4 6868 6868 what really yeah okay 6868 this would be 1a 1a d4 in decimal okay hexadecimal system works exactly like every other numbering scheme so why is this why is this uh, famous why is it used yeah. the reason is because it's very very uh, close to the binary system With four digits, yeah, you can do raised by the power of four have different combinations, sixteen combinations, yeah. and this one has sixteen different symbols. So you can write every four bit, every nipple, with one hexadecimal number, yeah. and this. Is making the reading very very easy yeah so like I said this here 1011 is 11 and 11 is B so this would be hexadecimal B okay and so I can take every four bit yeah? translate them or put them into the hexadecimal system very easily and then I don't, for instance, for instance, I write now, oh, I write now a decimal number, yeah, or write them together. Okay. Now, yeah, read it. Puh. Yeah, or write it down, copy it, yeah, write it on a letter. You make for sure a mistake. But if you group them, into chunks of four, uh, four positions. You can simply translate them into a hexadecimal system. So, one, let's start here, yeah? the last one, which is this, one, no two, but four, so this is five. This would be five. This is a 5. What's this? This is 1 and 2 so is 3 and 8 is 11. 11 is a B. What do we have here? 1 and 4 is 5 and 8 is 13. So we have a C here. And what is this? 8 and 1 is 9. Yeah. So that's the hexadecimal representation. 9 CP5. And now you can reasonably write it down. Yeah. No issue. Much less letters. And every two, every two, 
uh, hexadecimal letters is exactly one byte. That's used very often, very often. Yeah. So this is two byte number, first byte, second byte, and this nipple is a five, this nipple is a B, this nipple is a C, this nipple is a nine. Okay? So this is why a hexadecimal system is used very often. However, we have to take care to mark those things. Yeah? So if, for instance, I write this, yeah? we would interpret it as 102. Why not? It's 102 for us. Uh, however, what if I meant it this should be in hexadecimal number? So it's 102 in hexadecimal. Yeah. Usually, I usually write it like this. Yeah. Suddenly it's clear. Yeah. Ah, hex, hex. It's a hexadecimal number. Yeah. Or you can even mark it with with uh, uh, that. It's a decimal number. Okay. Or this one. What is this? Is this decimal? Is this hex? Is this binary even? If you write it next to it, it's clear. Ah, it's a binary number. Ah. Yeah. Unfortunately, most of our interpreters, most of our uh, uh, coding and so on, they do not allow to write something as, as, as index or something like this. So usually uh, there are special signs or special syntax. For instance, a lot of things, a lot of would interpret this as hexadecimal yeah? or maybe this is also very often. There is no real standard for this. You have to look into the into the uh, coding. Yeah? What what your program language or whatever you write this needs, you have to sign it somehow. Important thing is that you can distinguish between decimal, hexadecimal number. Yeah? In my script, I've, I'm using this. Yeah. this marking okay so that's about it for numbering system there are different codes still I will make a second video but that's it for numbering systems short introduction to help you understand all those numbering systems are very very much the same okay just the only real difference is the count of the different symbols, yeah, the symbol reservoirs. That's it. That's it. They work every time the same. Binary system is famous or is more used because it's used in computers. Computer work with it, and the hexadecimal system is very famous because it's very close to the binary system because every nibble, every four bit is translated into one digit of the hexadecimal number and now and is then easily readable by computer uh, by by humans the computer has no issue with this with this long string of zeros and ones yeah. okay i hope this helped a little bit understand numbering systems thank you very much for your attention have a good day